This week, Jacob leaves his home in Canaan and goes to Haran to flee from his brother Esau. There he meets Rachel and Leah and begins his family. Throughout Jacob's life, he hears directly from God himself, and he experiences more than a few supernatural experiences, many of which include heavenly beings, which we know as angels. The word that is translated mostly as angel in our Bibles is synonymous with the word messenger in Hebrew. Out of the 15 times that angels appear in the book of Genesis, or Bereshit, three of them appear in this Torah portion, by Yitze. The first incident which inspired this dessert is when Jacob dreamed of a ladder and angels were going up and down on it. The second time is when Jacob was retelling the story about how the angel of the Lord told him that he was going to be prosperous. The third time is when he was returning with his family to Canaan and was met with angels on the way. So to commemorate the Vayetze Torah portion, the secret ingredient in our Vayetze blueberry surprise is angel food cake. This dessert is made up of three different recipes, the angel food cake, the blueberry pie filling, and the blueberry dessert itself. We are going to be making a gluten-free version of the angel food cake due to my family's dietary restrictions, but according to the recipe, you will not be able to tell the difference. If you want to use regular wheat flour, you are welcome to do so since apparently the structure of the angel food cake comes from the eggs and not from the flour. I have never made angel food cake before, and I must admit I am a bit intimidated at the prospect of making it, but again, I will give it my best try because I can do all things through Messiah who strengthens me. I believe he is the angel of the Lord after all. If you can't or don't want to make the angel food cake but still want to have the dessert, you can buy ready-made angel food cake and the blueberry pie filling at the supermarket. For the angel food cake, the instructions separate the egg whites and allow them to sit at room temperature for at least 30 minutes. Preheat the oven to 350. In the bowl of a food processor, process the flour, cornstarch, and powdered sugar together until smooth, about 30 seconds, set aside. Process the granulated sugar slightly, about five to seven pulses. You don't want to turn it into powdered sugar, just a little finer than it is normally. Set aside. Side. Place the egg whites in the bowl of a stand mixer. Beat on high until starting to foam, then add the salt and cream of tartar. Add the vanilla and almond extract and continue whipping on high speed. Add the granulated sugar slowly, about one tablespoon at a time, to the egg whites while they are whipping. Continue whipping until stiff peaks form. Slowly fold the dry ingredients one third at a time with a spatula. Do this carefully and slowly so you don't deflate the egg whites. This is the key to a good angel food cake. Scoop into an ungreased 10 inch round pan. Bake at 350 for about 35 to 40 minutes until lightly golden. Immediately invert pan onto a cooling rack when you remove it from the oven. Cool completely, then run a knife along the edges of the pan and carefully plate the cake. For the blueberry pie filling, combine one cup of berries with three quarter cups of sugar in the pan. Simmer on low heat until sugar is melted and mixture is very liquid, about five minutes. Combine cornstarch and water in bowl. Add to pan with blueberries. Cook over medium heat until mixture comes to a full boil and is clear and thick. Pour hot mixture into a large bowl. Cool until warm. Fold in remaining three cups of blueberries, lemon rind, cinnamon, nutmeg, and butter. I will be omitting the cinnamon nutmeg. Let cool. For the blueberry angel dessert, in a large bowl, beat cream cheese and confectioner's sugar until smooth. Fold in whipped topping and cake cubes. Spread evenly into an ungreased 13 by 9 inch dish topped with pie filling. Refrigerate covered at least two hours before serving. This week, I will be going back to posting how the recipe tastes after we try it this Shabbat, Lord willing. If you make these recipes, please go to the sites listed and let them know what you think. That's all for this week's video. I pray your Vayetze Shabbat is sweet, blessed, and wonderful. And may the Lord richly bless all of you and your families.